What's good YouTube, it's Adam from Ama Music Mogul and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you the reverse 808 technique that many producers are putting in records today, especially Roddy Rich's track, Box. So I'm gonna show you how that reverse 808 gave it that bounce that sort of, it's in the background, but without it, you kind of miss it. When it's in there, it sort of adds a whole nother level to the beat, aside from the EU sound. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very easy and you can incorporate it into your own productions. So a full remake to the box is coming, dropping soon, so stay tuned for that. Here's what we got so far minus that reverse 808. So it has a good bounce on its own, but we're gonna go ahead and just add in that reverse 808, and you're gonna see that it takes it to another level. All right, so the 808 for the box is this one right over here. And essentially all we gotta do is reverse that and then place it into its right spot. So we're gonna double click on that audio region, go to File, Functions, Reverse, and we got that reverse 808. Just as simple as that. And what you wanna do now is just line it up with the next 808 hit or where it should be, which is right over here. And as soon as it swells up, you want it to hit into that normal uh, sort of 808 right over there. So we're just gonna push this back a little bit here. And that's gonna pop into that 808. Now we don't want it to swell for so long. We wanted a shorter swell like in the record itself. So we're just gonna cut out a little bit of the top end here or the tail of the original sample. And then we're gonna go ahead and just bring in an a fade tool here just to make it sort of build up nicely. Just something like that. Now if we bring it in with the other 808, it's gonna swell, reverse 808 into the regular 808. It kind of gives a little bit of anticipation and a little bit of like swinginess <laughs> into your beat and uh, your pattern. So next thing you wanna do is, well maybe I'll just add an EQ here. Just cut out a lot of the top end, like from the record. Uh, let's see here. Pull that back here. Do something like that. All right, we'll do something like that is fine. All right, so now if we go ahead and just zoom on out. I'm gonna place this onto the next section where it should be, which is pretty much the same thing on the B part. And it sounds like this with the reverse 808s. Unmute that. So here it is without the reverse 808. It's good, but it's a lot better with the reverse 808. And here it is with. So that is how you reverse 808s into your songs and productions. Fairly easy, you just take an 808 and reverse it. But you just want, it's all about placement and how you place it. And uh, it'll give you that bounce and vibe that uh, the box went for. And uh, you can use this in your future productions. It's a cool technique. Many are using it today. And um, it just adds a little something extra to the beat that's a little bit different and unique. <laughs> Once everyone starts to use it, it's maybe not that unique. But uh, there you have it. That's how you do that reverse 808 from the box. Full remake is dropping soon, probably later on this week. So stay tuned for that. If you do have any questions on this, you can go and ask me in the comment section below. Happy to chat over there. As usual, if you did like this video, remember thumbs up and share it. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.